Now, I'm fully aware that WarCorp666 and Betty Talks have made a video response towards this person. Fully aware of that. I just want to give out my two cents on this. And honestly, I'm not sure if I even made a video response to her. I mean, quite frankly, I've made so many anti-feminist videos that I'm actually losing count on who I made a video response to. And... How many video responses have I made in total? Huh. It's incredible. Well, let's stop being around the bush. Let's begin. I'm a feminist because someone's sexuality, gender, and appearance does not diminish their value as a human being. Unless, of course, cisgender white male that is straight and thus needs to pay for their sins because of what you are. You are scum. We need feminism, because a woman's body is not something to be objectified. Now, if you look to your right, she's actually using a fucking Barbie doll to prove her point. You are really, really fucking stupid, you know? There, there, two things, okay? One, It's not entirely impossible for someone to objectify and still acknowledge the person as a human being, okay? We don't see every goddamn woman as nothing more as an inflatable doll just to put our dick inside. We see every one as a human fucking being. The only people that seem to objectify women are those feminists. Feminists like yourself, who insist that society, you know, is uh, basically so adjusted to, to, to the patriarchy that men are so goddamn okay to objectify women to the point where they see us nothing more as sex dolls. And two, men are just as objectified as women. I am constantly objectified on YouTube because right now I am nothing more than mere entertainment. I, seriously, how many times do I have to repeat this argument until it gets to every fucking feminist thick skull? Because young girls should want to be so much more than just being nice to look at. Hey, Miss Misanthropist, are you watching this video? Because apparently this woman believes that society has taught all of us, that women have no place other than being pretty on the streets. So, apparently, you should prove her right. Stop making YouTube videos, you know, put on some makeup, you know, put on some nice clothing, and attract as many boys as you want, you know, because that's what you're good for. We need feminism because of the daily sexism that we've just become accustomed to. Because it is so goddamn normalized to hate women. Even though you have no fucking proof! It's normal, but that doesn't make it right. Cause a play is so goddamn normal to rape a woman. Hell, I know a woman that just got raped in front of everyone. People's just like, yeah, he's doing a good job. You know, fan fucking tastic. It's fucking brilliant. It's a work of fucking art. Seriously. It's just amazing. The amount of stupidity. It's just mind-boggling. We need feminism. Because the media tells us that we should see other women as a threat and competition. The media does tell you that. If anything, it's usually other people that tell you that you're in competition with other people. And it's true. You're constantly... Uh, on, on, on competition with everyone not just women but men you know if we don't do our best or if we fail then it might cost us our jobs if not our homes even our lives <sighs> but no 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 we should just hold hands and sing kumbaya fucking ya. Trying to divide us all. 
We need feminism, because being compared to a girl should not be insulting. Women compare other women to men all the time. It's a food for thought. Because of the countless double standards. Even though I pointed out the countless amount of times of the double standards within the feminist community. What? But! They always, always ignore me. They always ignore every form of criticism against feminism because they think they are so goddamn perfect that any forms of criticism against feminism is the equivalency of harassment and sexism. Hell, if, if a woman dares to speak out against feminism, then she basically is in support of women being nothing more than fucking slaves to the men. It's... It's incredible! I swear, the day that a female feminist decides to stand up for herself and actually debate people, you know, not hide away like a little pussy, is the day that Adolf Hitler comes back from the dead, puts on a tutu, and dances in front of millions of people. But that day will never happen. Because there's still unequal pay. I swear to the invisible man in the fucking sky, if someone, if any feminist brings up the goddamn wage gap argument one more fucking time, I'm going to adopt a fucking puppy, bring it in front of this fucking camera, and skin it alive. Seriously, drop the fucking wage gap argument. It doesn't help you at all. It's been debunked. Stop it. I'll just leave a link in the description to show how wrong the wage gap argument is. It's just stupid. About 52% of the population is female, yet there's a huge gender gap in every place of power. Because we should value someone's race, sexuality, and gender more than their qualifications. We need feminism, because people should explore who they are, without their gender telling them who they should be. You know something, no to discover who you are. Woman, I know who I am. There are plenty of people who know who they are, and they don't need feminism for that. They just need to explore. Okay? Seriously. Um, you act like every human being is born without a double F batteries installed on their backs. The F stands for feminism, by the way. And, um... Without those, without those double F batteries, they're basically n nothing. They're toys. They don't think for themselves. They're being controlled by the evil patriarchy man and his horrible psychic sexism boy. Oh God, marketing! No, not every goddamn man on this planet is, you know, fucking Hercules, you know. In fact, there are plenty of people out there that are extremely overweight and lazy. Me, I may not be extremely overweight, but I'm not exactly the most athletic man on this planet either. You know... The most ironic thing is, is that there are more women graduating than men. But it appears that the only people that actually believe that women can't be too smart because of the patriarchy is the fucking feminists. One what? Bullshit! <laughs> Missy, you shouldn't act too smart. That's a place for boys, you know? We are not teaching men not to cry. Seriously, there are plenty of men out there that cry. And really, it's important on what you're crying about. If you're sad about losing your father, or maybe you saw... 
you know, a movie that puts you into tears, then, yeah, I can understand. But if you're crying about something that's goddamn pathetic, like the Yankees losing the, the game, then it's goddamn pathetic. There's no other words to put it in. It's just pathetic. The same thing applies to women. If they're crying about something incredibly stupid, then it's just pathetic and stupid. Seriously, if I'm going to date a woman, then it would I wouldn't want to date a woman that constantly cries a lot. It's just irritating and annoying. Because I believe in human rights, equality, and a fair chance for everybody. So egalitarianism, but for some odd reason, it's just not enough. I know I've been saying this for quite some time, and I'm never going to stop saying it. Ever. I'm a feminist because the phrase, you can't because you're a girl, is irrelevant. Well, in most cases, yeah, but there are a few cases where it is relevant. You know, men can't give birth because they're not girls, they're boys. And girls can never be able to outrun the world's fastest man because of their own bodies. Sorry, it's the goddamn truth. We need feminism because one in three women have experienced sexual assault or rape. Holy fuck is this wrong! I swear to God, to each individual feminist, they keep increasing to and decreasing the number. One to six, one to four, one to three. The numbers are goddamn everywhere, but either way, it is goddamn wrong. When will you feminists just keep a constant number? Just agree on a number and that's it. But either way, it is still wrong. Christina Hoff Summers has already debunked this, so I'm not going to go into extreme details about this. And because the victims of these crimes are shamed and blamed into silence. Even though there is plenty of examples of people siding with the victim. Seriously, do you honestly expect just to listen and believe to every woman that just claims rape? Should we just send the guy to jail regardless on whether or not he commit the crime? Because that's what it sounds like. According to the UK report, only about 1% of rapes actually result in conviction. What is a a difficult crime to crack down and I have it I have it very hard time believing it's just one percent very hard time but just just, in, just as you know okay there's gotta be proof that this person actually did it either by maybe a witness or you know video footage or a rape kit you know if there's no goddamn evidence, then sorry. He goes scot free. It's innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent. These problems are still being covered up. We need feminism because this cycle needs to stop. The cycle of what? Life and death? So I'm a feminist because I care. Unless you're a cisgender white male, then fuck you! You deserve to burn in hell.